Well, <clears throat> hello folks, how you say, doing? Well, uh, I just thought I'd come down and sit in the backyard for a bit, uh, you know, uh, why James uh, upstairs like, sitting down. I've just had a, a nice pasta, pasta, pasta pot noodle, smashed a lot of it, ate it all. Um, I also had a smoothie this morning, I've already had about 1500 calories in me. And I'm gonna get a fish cake for tea, but I won't eat the butter. Yeah, I think that, to be honest, you know what? I'm doing all right, me, because I've just, I had a TH, a bit of THC, you know, well, a pharmaceutical one, whatever it's called, I just call it THC. And it gave me the munchies, and I think that tumour has shrunk a bit loud, and I'm, you know, all right, I'm living with cancer. You know, and uh, I'm doing the right things, and I went out today, you know, got a few things. I'm going to go uh, and try and have corned beef hash and beans, my mate's going to do it this week, you know, and I think um, I was feeling a bit low uh, a few days ago, and all that is right, is while you're having the chemotherapy, you, the worst side effect of... Um, getting the chemotherapy is going to be your mental health you know it is stressful going through all the uh, side effects you know it's not nice to and low and you know sometimes you know you feel in a bad place and sometimes you're in a dark place but all the time in the mind you've got to be strong now you know look i'm out in the garden and i'm feeling fine i can do a little dance in a boogie now you know you've got to just stay strong and be positive like because Today, today feels as though I haven't got cancer. It feels like a normal day, like it was two years ago, you know. And I think that's been like, you know, down to the efforts I've been putting in of cutting out all the sugar, you know, which cancer thrives on. You know, the best, the best uh, veg, uh, fruit out there is tomato, you know. They are the best for cancer. So I've been buying the little boxes, just eating them like the clappers, you know, and I'm not giving up, you know. I'm really uh, in high spirits today. I'm just feeling a bit, um, just a little bit of uh, indigestion with uh, smashing the um, pasta pot noodle. And I mean smashed it, never left one piece of pasta in it. I just devoured the lot. In fact, I think I could smash another one and I'm gonna smash that full fish cake. Um, and I got a, uh, you know, a few yards, so I I'm doing well on the diet. So anyone out there, like, with, you know, even stage five, it can be put into remission. Always be strong, always, you know, be positive. You know, I I'm just there uh, in high spirits today, <laughs> you know, and uh, it's actually good. My body must have got used to the chemo because them chemo, the, the IV chemo is horrendous, I mean horrendous, you know, no way to describe it, but, and uh, even dripping me the uh, chemo tablets every day to try and shrink the tumour. I've got an appointment, I've got to go um, on the 9th of the 9th, which is the 9th of September, isn't it? I've got to go to um, Broadgreen Hospital just to have uh, a doctor on my heart, so that's all good. Things are in motion. I go back to the hospital. I think it's uh, 30th, and I'll finish my course of tablets. And I think I'll be getting a CT scan, and they'll uh, be letting me know if the tumour shrank. But you know, you know your own body, and you know, put it this way: if I had uh, if I had 10 grand now, I'd put 10 grand on it if I had it made that the tumour is shrunk. No it's all but to buy it. I've been taking the medication, all the medication as prescribed. I've been taking medication to help me sleep, my CHC, and I'm doing great. So listen, whoever you are, if you're out there and you're there, me and you've got cancer and you've just been diagnosed, you know, don't, it's not over. I know it's you feel low when you first get taller, but you know, that's your first instinct. But they can put you into the mission and you know if you put in the work as well and i've been doing my research google answers anything you know and i've been looking at the best diets i've been taking
Ik nog niet even dat zo'n manier had, want die subscribers zijn niet zo'n manier biscuits. Zo'n ginger biscuits, 45 peer pakken. Waar, well, two, four packets of them in the trolley straight away. You know, so, it is what it is, isn't it folks, you know. I'm just, uh, I'm waiting for the chippy to, to uh, open up one of fish cake and I've actually got the munchies. I've got the munchies. So, you know, I just... <laughs> I think uh, I was positive this morning, the energy was good, the vibes, do you know what I mean? I'm just um, feeling good, I'm with me, um, oh, I told you didn't I, I got a phone, put my phone number out this morning, uh, a friend that we haven't spoke to for ages rang me, um, so you know, must have been watching me on YouTube, you know, so uh, it's all good, people are following me, keeping in touch. So yeah, but um, big up, I've uh, nearly answered all the comments I think, some of them all just being busy today, being here, there, Tesco and all that, oh my mate saved me, I don't know, about 8 quid, he had a Tesco uh, Sabre card or something, but you know, anyway folks, I just thought because I'm in high spirits, you know, when I'm doing well, the more videos are put out, now, I don't know whether to get monetized. do you know what I mean? Could get monetized. Well, I don't even get about 180 pounds a month. But you know, best than they kick up the ass. They'll buy me fruit and it'll uh, Obviously, you know, I, I, after the past few days, I wouldn't go. I'm dying. I'd go. I'm living with cancer, and that's the way I'm gonna be now. I'm living with it. But I think my head's just being a bit sure coming to terms with it. And I'd rather look at it that way and be more positive because positivity is the best way to be, innit? Always look on the bright side of life, as they say. Anyway, folks, you can come on your way till your heart content, and I promise you, I will answer every comment, albeit maybe not within an hour or two because I've got to go to Chippy and whatnot, but you know. Anyway, folks, I'm going to love you all and leave you. Thanks for coming and take it easy, Z Brigham.